Dude, seriously, last time we did not see a single fucking boat until the end. And we weren't even in the water when we saw that boat. Well, we saw some fishermen occasionally. They were fishing for their lunch, bro. I respect that, though, the survivalist attitude, you know what I mean? They were out there fucking literally pulling fish out of the river to eat. I know, the homeless people were fishing for their lunch. I reviewed the video. That, like, we passed some people fishing right there by that bar, and I just thought it was regular people fishing, and, and I saw the tents in the background. That's what they were doing. That's probably why they had the homeless camp there. Because they could eat food. I mean, it's a pretty good deal, right? If you can just put a pole in the water and pull a fish out every day. I would do it if I had a place to do it. Well, that's kind of badass. You going to put up a tree stand or something? Don't worry, we brought Pringles. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. It's not just like fucking Andrew's property. He's got trail cams up and he's picking up deer all the time and he can hunt. I told my buddy Joe, I was like, I just called and I can hunt my property because I got to see his house. He's like, I just put it Yeah, Adam fucking, Adam points guns at deer out of his fucking Florida room. Or not Adam, excuse me, um, that's you. <laughs> fucking no, Andrew. Like, Andrew. And they're probably used to you being there too. This is a little more casual group right here. Only one pro cooler carrier. I wonder how much drag one of those things would be. Let's see what you're talking about. You're going to go left or right? Probably right. Drop anchor, you'll never make it home. <laughs> this is funny. Going like three miles an hour is like being in a Lamborghini. Will you pull over? If you want. You can if you want. You want to? Alright. I don't even know how you would 